Welcome back. We have a good little video for you today. It's going to be a shorter video compared to other videos we've done um, just because I'm going to be focusing just on one topic and that is the stress test. Now, I have talked about the stress test in, in other videos before. You know, it's come up in, in several videos, but the reason I wanted to focus on that in this particular video is that this week I have seen so many headlines talking about the stress test. And the reason why it's come up, and it's, it's particularly come up this week, is it's starting to become a political issue. As you know, there is, a, you know, there's been a provincial elections, um, as well as um, we have the federal election coming up in October. So it's, you know, they're they're starting to use, um, you know, different political tactics and talk about different topics. So the stresses have come out. And it's it's grabbing headlines. You know, I've, I've seen it in different newscasts, different um, parties starting to talk about it, discuss it. You know, we had the, um, the there's pressure on the part of the conservatives towards the liber liberals um, of why they implemented the stress test. Um, you know, the stress test has worked. It has um, substantially reduced the availability of financing for people that want to buy a home. And, but to the extent that it's starting to put a little bit extra pressure that it should have. And it's really dampened, you know, interest rate has gone up, so, um, you know, plus you have the stress test. So it's really dampened the whole um, market overall. And, and the unfortunate part is that it, it hasn't just happened in Toronto or Vancouver. It's, it's kind of happened Canada, throughout Canada. And, you know, there's a lot of people starting to ask, well, listen, why do we have this stress test if the market's not doing that great and people are not able to, to, to buy properties? And, you know, particularly that entry level, you know, people buying their first home, you know, people maybe wanting to move up from that condo into a detached house or a townhouse just to get a little bigger property. Um, they're having a really hard time with the stress test. It's really complicating the finances. So what's happening is we're getting, um, you know, the, these political parties just starting to talk about a bit more. Uh, we had, um, you know, in Alberta, you had Jason Kenney, um, which really came out there and said, listen, we are against the stress test. If I win, I'm going to fight to the death uh, to Ottawa that they remove the stress test for Calgary. You know, we're not Vancouver. We're not Toronto. We shouldn't even have this stress test. And, and you know, it, he's uh, come out there and said that. So, um, you know, there's been a couple of different um, people that are catching on to that. That. And you know it's a good a good topic of conversation, and they're starting to put pressure on the federal government and the liberals to, you know, address it. Um, you know, sometimes when you put policies in place, you don't know how much they're going to affect. And I think that this particular policy, although it had it did help, um, it's starting to backfire a bit to uh, an extent that because people are not able to qualify let, let's talk about first time buyers they're not they're becoming renters so now you have these this pressure on the rental side of things because the first time buyers can't go out and buy well they got to continue renting and if they're continuing to rent they're not you know they're not freeing up rentals for other people so there's a big demand on the rental side and and that's why we've seen uh, a substantial amount of increase in rents you know, over the, the last year and a half to two years, there's been a substantial increase in rent and you can really feel the the pressure on, on that side of things. Um, on another side is, you know, people that are having to now refinance their home or their their, their term is coming up and, and they have to reconsider a, a new lender or look at different options in reference to financing or continuing the, the, the finance of their home. What they're seeing is, well, now with the stress, test, it's putting quite a bit of pressure, so they're not able to qualify for what they want to qualify, or they're having a hard time getting financing for the current home that they have. So what that does is they, they're they obligated to continue with the lender that they had originally signed on for. So they're basically just extending with the same lender and, uh, and not being able to to shop around and compare different products out there and and that's bad because when you don't give 
people the opportunity to be able to shop around um, and you know buy different things, uh, have different options to, to buy or, or different options to choose, it, it becomes problematically. It's basically a monopoly of a couple of big banks. And, and that's, that's a problem because you're not allowing people the option to look around. So people don't want to deal with the stress test or they're seeing that it's becoming difficult to qualify. They'll just re-sign on with their bank for another five years or, or, or whatever the case may be. And in banks, you know, they're, they're not, they don't have the incentive to try to win your business with good products or good options and maybe reducing the rate a little bit, having better paying opportunities, um, you know, better, better products for you if, uh, they don't have competition for somebody else offering it. So it's it's not good to not be able to have competition and be able to choose different products. You, you want to be able to have different options so you can choose the best one for you. That makes sense. And, um, and that's currently uh, becoming a bit of an issue. And political parties are starting to, to, to note out, take note of that and say, hey, listen, you guys are giving the banks a free pass here. Now they, they, they can just lock people up for whatever term. They're not able to, sh- people are not able to shop around. It's become more difficult and 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 I think that we're gonna we're gonna see it um, a lot more in the news over the next couple of months you know do, before the elections come in the, the liberals have also come out and said that they uh, want to do something for first-time buyers to help affordability and they haven't quite said yet what it is but it will be interesting to see what uh, what they offer um, I think that you know my, if you ask in my personal opinion I think that Something will have to be done with that stress test. I think that um, either they're going to reduce the stress test or they may eliminate it completely. On the other flip side, they could also decide to keep the stress test in Vancouver and Toronto and eliminate it everywhere else. So it'll, it'll be interesting to see how they how they want to play that. I think that the stress test has done its job and it has done, and I think that removing it um, you know, would be, um, I think, something positive. Um, you know, it, it will, you know, the markets come down, um, interest rates have come up, things have kind of s- slowed down, which I think is what they, they, their intention was. And now it will be interesting to see how, how things play out um, because, you know, you also don't want to completely stall a market forever. So um, we'll have to wait and see what, what happens. Now, in, in places like BC, uh, you got to remember it's not just a stress test. We have, you know, the stress test. We have the, um, you know, the speculation and vacancy tax, the empty home tax. We have foreign buyers that need to pay 20%. So there's, you know, it's one, two, three, four, five, you know, more, a lot of uh, regulatory uh, overkill, right? So you have to really um, understand that when, when governments get involved and, and try to control, um, you know, the supply and demand by putting all these policies, um, it could also have a contrary effect to just a positive one. So um, I think that's what um, we're starting to see. We're starting to see that these policies are starting to take a toll. And we're starting to see that people are, are, are sort of saying, hey, listen, um, you know, is this really a good policy? Should we keep this? Is it too much now? Is it going to start causing other problems? Like maybe people being underwater now because they can't qualify or they have to go with very high interest rates in order to qualify for private lending. And you don't want to also put people in that type of situation. Uh, you want to make sure that things kind of correct on their own uh, without intervening too much and right now we have a lot of government intervention and um, something has to give so it will become a, a political issue and uh, we'll have to see what, how the liberal response so far they haven't really responded they've said they're going to do something and we'll have to see what they what they want to offer and what they want to do but the conservatives have said they would like to remove the um, uh, the stress test or at least consider the the option of removing it um, and that's kind of where they're at this point so um, yeah so that's kind of what's happening um, thank you very much for taking a moment to uh, listen to this video this is for um, today we're February the first um, so we've had a couple of days go by uh, since the last video that we had if you like the video please subscribe um, you know I try to put a video out there at least once a week um, sometimes uh, two videos a week if there's time to do them it depends what topics are out there and what we've been discussing uh, i like to give updates so um, yeah i wish you a, a great weekend and uh, we'll uh, chat with you soon